<laughs> Surprise! Nash! <laughs> you know, I don't think Nash understands this game. Woo! Hoo -hoo. This is a great hiding spot. I'll see Gorby before he sees me. Cool. An iguana! Whoa! Whoa. Aha! Found you, Lily! Aw, and I had a great hiding spot. Um, no offense, Lily, but sitting on the ground, not a great hiding spot. I mean, I had a great hiding spot until an iguana came along. Hey, we saw an iguana too. It's weird. I was sitting up in that tree and scared it somehow. But it wasn't looking up at me. Like it had eyes on the top of its head. Wait a minute. I've heard of something like that. Iguanas have something called a parietal eye on top of their heads. Hey, I was kind of right. But it's not a real eye. It can't see anything clearly. It only sees changes in light. Oh, so I probably noticed when I moved around in the tree. Or more likely, that hawk. Hawks eat iguanas, you know. They eat them? Well, that's a good reason for the iguanas to run away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, Will's the only one left. Let's go find her. <laughs> hmm. Snake? Did you say snake? Where? Where's the snake? There! Warpy, that's not a snake. You just said that to make me come out. <gasps> no, I didn't. And if it's not a snake, what is it? Nash, Nash don't, don't wait. touch it! What's that thing? You know, I think that's an iguana's tail. Oh, the poor iguana. The iguana is fine, Willow. Look, that iguana has lost its tail. Oh, the poor iguana. No, look, not at all. When an iguana gets caught or feels threatened, it can quickly detach its tail, which means drop off. Oh, so it doesn't hurt. <laughs> Don't worry. The iguana can grow a new tail. <gasps> cool! <laughs> it can't fit us all in. We'll have to crouch down. Tripod, go higher. It worked. Uh-oh. It's a little tippy. I need to work on that. Maybe if I just readjust the gimbal... She could be at that all day. The robot tripod is really cool, but it sort of doesn't work. Yet. It doesn't work yet. Whoa! We've got our cameras. So let's go use them. A heliconia plant. Their flowers look like little lobster claws. Ooh, a hummingbird. Whoa! Oof! <laughs> Hummingbirds use their long, pointy beaks to get to the nectar in those long, pointy flowers. Only the right hummingbird can do that. I wonder which hummingbird is the right hummingbird. Cheese! Hummingbird? Yeah, we looked it up. It's a green hermit hummingbird. This is great, Willow. Um, what is that animal? It's a sloth. 
Luckily, it moves really slowly, or else I would have never gotten that picture. That's me and an anteater. They use their long snouts to suck up ants and eat them. That's Amazing! Cool. That is cool! Here I am with the poison dart frog. Poison? No way! Oh, yeah, but don't worry. I didn't touch it. Its skin is where the poison is. That's what protects them from creatures who try to eat them. And this one's Nash! That's a selfie of you taking a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> and we've just started looking. That's biodiversity. Lots of different plants and animals living in one place. <gasps> Robot tripod! <sighs> You're still not working. <laughs> Yet! <laughs> I get it. The color says, hey, back off! I'm poisonous. You don't want to eat me. These frogs are amazing and all, but what about the waterfall? Okay, okay, Gorby, we're going. Whoa! Hey, guys, look! There's tons of boys and dark frogs. Wow! Wow! Ooh, wow! And they're on the move. Where do you think they're going? Well, frogs are amphibians, and they like to be around water. So while the rainforest is a wet environment... A waterfall would be even wetter! You think they're headed to the waterfall? We can follow them and find out. Well, we couldn't be any more lost than we are already. So let's get hopping. <laughs> 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 Jungle! Ha, ha. Yes, but so do you! Ha, 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 ha. This is way or Zaz way? Which way? Which way? I don't know, Nash. Look! Poison dart frogs! Follow the frogs? Follow the frogs! Come on, Polos! <laughs> huh? Do you hear that? Is that a waterfall? The waterfall! The waterfall! Whoa. Wow! This way, Polos! Hey, look! It's another poison dart frog. What are those things? I think they're eggs. It looks like this is where poison dart frogs come to lay their eggs. They're so close to the water. The baby frogs, tadpoles? Right, tadpoles must drop off the leaves and into the water, where they grow up to become poison dart frogs. Cool! Poison dart frogs are amazing! See, Gorby? I told you we'd find the waterfall, and all we needed to do was follow, follow the frogs! The frogs. <sighs> <laughs> Frogga, Frogga! Frogga! <gasps> that monkey has a really long tail. Long enough to hold onto branches with them and hang down. I think they're spider monkeys. They have prehensile tails, which means they can use them to grab onto things. Their arms and legs are so long and skinny that when they spread out, they look kind of spidery. Guess that's how they got their name. Wait, are those monkeys hugging? I think it's how they say hello. I like that about them. Hugs are good. <clears throat> Look at that. Whoa. Whoa! Amazing! Did you see that? I can't believe he made it. <gasps> Whoa! Hey, 
That monkey's throwing fruit at us. Oh! oh. Aha! Mm. Ah. 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 Back inside the polo mobile. Come on! Phew! <laughs> I don't think they want us here. It's their home, and they don't like unwanted visitors. Ah. Ah. Maybe that's why they live so high up in the trees. More room to swing. I read that they stay up in the trees to avoid predators on the ground. Instead, they do those amazing leaps from tree to tree. Well, we don't live in trees. So we better figure out a way to get down. Whoa! 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 We've got to get out of this tree now. I've been thinking about that. We'll swing like spider monkeys. Yes! Polos, ready your climbing ropes. Here we go! Nail the landing! Lucky! Oh! <laughs> Look at that! This must be where the ants live. When ants work and live together, it's called a colony. I wonder what kind of ants these are. Oh, look it up. Looks like they're leaf cutter ants. There are leaf cutter ants all over the rainforest. So they cut up leaves and bring them back to the colony to eat? Actually, no. They chew up the leaves and they're turning them into goo. So they eat the goo? This is the amazing part. Another living thing called fungus grows its spores on the goo as it decays. The ants eat the fungus that grows from the spores. Unbelievable! They cut up the leaves to feed the fungus, and then they eat the fungus. These ants are fungus farmers. Wow, there are so many of them. It says there can be eight million ants in a colony. That's a lot of leaves to cut, goo to chew, and fungus to farm to feed everybody. They must have to be really well organized to get everything done. Organization. That's what we need to get all our stuff back into the polo mobile. We just have to act like the ants. Okay, remember, everybody pick up the first thing they see, bring it back to the polo mobile, and put it away. Then go back out and pick up another thing and bring it back and put it away. Just like the ants. Just like the ants. Let's go. for you to lift, Nash. We little ants. Big. Ants can carry 50 times their weight. That's like you carrying 50 Nashes. <gasps> Hold on. We'll help too. Yeah, and here we go. <laughs> now we just have to get it inside. Actually, I've got a better idea. How about lunch? Oh, oh yes. Yes. I'm hungry. We carried it so we get to eat it. Yum, yum. But we don't have to turn it into goo first. I'm just glad it's not fungus. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it moves so slowly. Yeah, I know. Since I've been looking at it, it's barely moved at all. Look at its claws. They're like hooks. 
good for hanging around in trees. And maybe for defending itself from predators. It's so slow, it can't run away. Wow, did you see how far it turn its head? I wonder if I can do that. Oh, I can! Easy peasy. <laughs> you turned your whole body around, Gorby. Just move your head. Ugh, okay, I totally can't. How does that sloth do that? Sloths have extra bones in their necks, called vertebrae. That allows them to turn their head almost all the way around. Hey, did you see the tamarind? I think it came back this way. No, but take a look at this. Look, 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 look! A hummingbird? Come on! Take a look at what? <gasps> a sloth! A three-toed sloth. It looks like it's smiling at us. Yeah, it does. Is it really smiling? I think that's just the markings on its face. It's so slow. Plus, sloth sleep up to 20 hours a day. They sleep most of the day? And even when they are awake, they barely move. Is it just me, or is its fur kind of greenish? You're right, it is. I wonder why. Maybe the sloth moves so slowly that the green planty stuff can grow on it. <laughs> Plants? <laughs> Nothing's that slow. Actually, it says sloths are so slow moving that a tiny organism called algae grows on their fur. Algae are green. Fascinating. So that's why it looks green. What great camouflage. Well, I ran past it three times without seeing it. So it must be hard for predators to see them too. Oh, for sure. Hawks hunt by sight, and so do jaguars. So, if sloths kind of blend into the rainforest and barely move or move really slowly, things that eat them can't see them. Being so slow helps them survive. Oh, we've almost seen so many animals. Hey, what are you looking at? It's a three-toed sloth. <gasps> no way, why didn't you tell us? We tried. Oh, oh wow. yeah! What an amazing animal! Cool! And we don't even need to run anywhere to see it. Where's it going? Oh, you're not gonna believe this! Once a week, they climb down to the ground to go to the bathroom. They only go once a week? Being on the ground is really dangerous for them. They'd rather stay in the trees. 